Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Reese's Random Reviews. I am Reese, and I'm about to give you a random review. Happy New Year everyone. It, today is now the 8th of January 2017. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas, a wonderful New Year. I certainly did. I got this shirt for Christmas. It's my Overlook Hotel. And now I've officially come back to London to do random reviews, I come back to uni. Okay guys, so anyway, let's get into the brand new random review. This is my first random review of 2017. And today is a very interesting one. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the BBC TV series, The Fall. The Fall first premiered on BBC Two back in 2013, and it only literally just finished, well, in 2016. Now if you haven't seen The Fall, or you haven't even heard of The Fall, I suggest that you seriously watch the series before I start talking about it, because this is literally going to contain spoilers, like I'm literally going to be talking about one certain part about the series. So if you haven't seen The Fall, I recommend that you go and watch it first, and then watch this video. If you have seen it, good for you. And I mean literally seen all three seasons, because I'm going to be talking about that controversial ending to the third series, and basically ask... Did The Fall actually end well? Now, I'm a huge fan of The Fall. I loved it. I thought it was suspenseful. It was incredible. It was dark. Jamie Dornan and Gillian Anderson were both fantastic in this series, along with a bunch of other actors. The ending to this series was just so unexpected and so dark. Like, I literally was shocked by what was going to happen in the end of this series. But let me just explain what happened. So if you remember in Series 3... Paul Spector got captured by uh, Stella Gibson. I'm trying to remember their names. Then Paul Spector was in hospital after being shot and there was a chance that he could die and most people were thinking he's actually going to die in this series. But then what happened was, unexpectedly, he woke up and then he apparently had memory loss. But then he regained his memory and then what happened after that was quite, well, shocking. He beats Stella Gibson to a pulp and then he kills himself. And that means it shows that he actually got away with murder. So the real question is, did this really end well or were people right to complain about it? Some people reckon that it should have ended differently, like much differently. In my opinion, I think it ended okay. Like I was shocked, but it pretty much ended okay. But I think that The Fall possibly needs a series four. If it gets a series four, then it can finally answer the unanswered questions that are needed. For example, it can follow Stella Gibson about what she thinks of this whole, you know, situation. It could follow Paul Spector's family and show exactly what their fallout is without letting them know he's a serial killer. It could follow the babysitter and see that she's gone more insane. It can follow a lot of characters if there was a series four and finally get those unanswered questions that we all need. But what do you guys think? Do you think The Fall should come back for a Series 4? Or do you think Series 3 ended well? Or do you think it should have ended differently? What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know, guys. It's great to be back to doing random reviews. More random reviews are on the way. Plus, I've got brand new short films on the way. Keep subscribing. Keep updated, guys. And I am Reese. I have just given you the first 2017 Reese's Random Review.